India to supply food items and medical supplies to Russia. Many of the grocery stores in Russia has been running out from the stock and there are no stock providers because Russia is mostly dependent on the European stock providers or companies for their food purchases till now. But right now, due to the ongoing conflict with the Ukraine, many of the European and Western companies has been put a ban on their groceries and stopped doing business with the Russia. So this has made a big void in Russia's supply and demand chain. In order to fulfill this role, Russia has asked China and India for help. So China and Russia right now has a $149 billion of trade and they wanted to increase this trade by $250 billion by end of 2025. And Russia also asked India to supply the food items. Of course, Russia is one of the biggest producers of the wheat and but there is still a lot of things that Russia need. So in order to get this all the food items in Russia needs India and Indian companies are ready to fulfill these supply chains. Even this has happened in 2014 when Russia annexed the Crimea. At that time, Russia asked India to fulfill the groceries or especially the milk products and the medical supplies. But after the three years, the non action was taken. Most of the market is captured by the Chinese companies. Indian companies has did little to nothing to gain the market share in Russia. So right now, Indian companies wanted to take advantages of ongoing crisis but also same time India does not want it to upset the West. This is the reason Infosys latestly pulled out from the Russia and due to this is the medical supplies and the food chains no one can complain to the India for providing food and medical supplies to the Russian people. Of course trading with the Russia is a bit of a gamble right now but due to it's a humanitarian thing so no western country accuses right now for providing food and medical supplies so you may think how does the payment works so right now there is no exact appropriate mechanism to for the payments but still most of the private companies of the russians have agreed to work with the indian companies to work with in the rupee based system as to know we do not know another denomination of the currencies they are going to pay it may be even gold we don't know that so let's come into the bigger picture india wanted to increase the russian ties the reason is india does not like russia to wholly depend on the china and to make another kind of north korea where the north korea only depend on china and it has wholly of power to hold North Korean government and its foreign policy. This is the same thing with which India really fears. India does not like Russia to be pro-China and anti-India in the ongoing conflicts. That's the reason India wanted to have a neutral stand in this ongoing conflict. And also, India does not want it to hurt its Western allies like Europe and US because they also need to counter China in Indo-Pacific and also on the global stage. So this is a reason India wanted to supply food and medical supplies. And you need to know that right now Western countries mainly Europe has stopped medical equipment too. So India is already one of the biggest pharmacy hubs so it can also provide medical not only medical supplies but also medical instruments too. So that helps India to have a leverage on Russia and also a goodwill from the Russian people towards India. So this is the reason India wanted to have a good relationship with Russia and thank you very much for watching till the end.